Hi, my name is Nico. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the ground segmentation template to make a lens. The ground segmentation template allows you to modify the ground by using a ground segmentation mask provided by the machine learning component. Additionally, objects in the scene can be occluded when they are placed beyond the ground. Let's take a look at the different floor examples that come with the project. They can be found in the Objects panel under Ground Segmentation, Floor Examples. Each of these examples come with a material that you can use as a starting point to make your own floor. You can find them in Resources under Advanced Ground Examples. Click on any of the materials to open the Material Editor window, from which you can edit the material graphs. The Ice Parallax example uses the Ice Parallax material which leverages loop nodes and parallax chords node in the material editor to achieve depth in textures. Try adjusting the depth parameter on the ice parallax material to change its depth. Adjust loop iterations inside the graph to change the amount of parallax effect. Adjust the brightness contrast node to get different color effects. You can also try switching out the textures in the tiled ground materials with your own. One thing that's common across all ground examples is the ground mask option. Ground mask allows you to mask out parts of your virtual ground based on the texture input. To enable ground mask, check the show ground mask option on any of the materials and link ground mask under textures folder into the ground mask texture slot. To edit the shape or position of the ground mask, edit the ground mask object under world object controller. This object is masked because it is on the ground mask camera layer that renders to the ground mask camera. Any other object with the same layer would be part of the ground mask as well. The world object controller allows us to move objects under it with touch. You can replace the character by deleting the dreamy fox object and adding your own object. You can add ground segmentation to custom objects as well. To do this, we need to give our object a material which is set to be occluded beyond the ground. The most simple way is to duplicate materials labeled Duplicate Me in the Materials folder. We can also add the occlusion to pre-made graph materials. In this case, we've added a new 3D model that we want to occlude. Double-click on the Duplicate Me material to open it in the Material Editor. Copy the occluder and mask camera occluder group. Next, double-click the material we want to modify, then paste the nodes into it. Now we can connect this to our Materials Output Colors Alpha channel. If the original material already has transparency, make sure to multiply the original opacity with the occluder opacity output. Now, all we have to do is pass the, the ground segmentation texture to our material. Select the Use Segmentation Texture field and link Processed Segmentation Texture to it. Make sure to set the Blend Mode as Not Disabled so it allows for opacity. Now our object should be successfully occluded. With our object properly applied, we are ready to preview and submit our lens. To preview this lens in Snapchat, click on Previewing Snapchat on the top right corner. Then, open Snapchat on your phone and scan the provided snap code. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own lens using the ground segmentation template.